people that they want to match him up with Bogues and find him early. Dan Crawford, Joe Forte, David Jones, the officials. There's Joe Curry. And Bogues wide open at the baseline. Oh, oh. What a boost this has to give the Charlotte Hornets. And Saturday's game two brings the Knicks to within one. Now he's now four for eight and threes in his series. And Anthony Mason stuffs it right in the face of Patrick Ewing. Usually Ewing has been able to leave his man and come over and get a piece of the shot. Larry Johnson with the fadeaway hits. And the score is six to five in the backcourt. Devos beaten to the basket by Johnson. Passes out to Allen Houston, and Houston hits from downtown. Devos defending against Johnson, and yet Johnson goes strong to the hoop. That's twice. Larry Johnson has beaten Vladi Devos. So imagine this good. They're two very good defenders. Allen Houston with a good pass to Larry Johnson. The Knicks, even though they trail, mix a five of five from the field. So they've been sharp shooters, and Allen Houston oh, six for six with his second from downtown. Like in a heavyweight fight, they're shaking it off, and they're still right here, right on the money. Larry Johnson hits from downtown in game two. He has 11 points already, and he's had big games against the Knicks. Larry Johnson beats Devon's off the dribble, and then uh, the Charlotte Hornets have just uh, gone to a dead halt ever since Bolts has come out of the game. Mason working his way in gets his second field goal. Buck with a pump fake and a miss. Mason gets hit in the face and a foul will be called against Buck Williams. Geiger is defending against Larry Johnson. Fade away by Johnson. 13 points for Larry Johnson. And Larry Johnson picks up the loose ball and puts it through. Patrick Ewing, the Knicks have a three on two break. And Oakley leaves it for Larry Johnson who lays it in. The big fellas coming down like thundering herd. Now just keep an eye on this now. This is just layup drill. You got Larry Johnson here. You have another one coming from the top. Same shot, of course, is the fadeaway on the baseline. Here is Mason backing in against Larry Johnson, who wore different uniforms a year ago. And Devots off his hands as to Allen Houston, who fires. And Mason out jumps Oakley for the rebound. That's a big, big rebound. Nine rebounds for Anthony Mason, who's fouled by Oakley. No basket. And right now, Delk and Pierce are only one for seven. Mason hits the short jumper. That's Mason's shot. He's got six. Pay attention to them because they get to the offensive boards. Mason strong to the hoop against Patrick Ewing after Rice was double teamed. Team here right now. That's one of the very few times we had a cutter, Dick. That time Rice went right down the middle. Nice move. Mason with a great baseline move. Now with 10 points. Giles trying to knock the ball away from Delk. Mason with a great pass to Devon, who's fouled. Anthony Mason with a fine pass. Demon, once again, they always strap the pick and roll. Now keep an eye on Greg. Bryce went down the middle already. All right, they catch him in a rotation. Nice spin move back. Who are up at one point by 11. Mason again backing in against Larry Johnson. Ricky Pierce goes right back to it. Nine on the shot clock. And Anthony Mason beats Johnson to the hoop. Glenn Rice in the lane. Nice. Mason. Glenn Rice extending full. Looked like he could have shot, but Rice saves it to Bogues. Nice. Here's Mason. Two on one. Here's Pierce. And he lays it and tie the game again. Great pass. Now here we have Bogues finding Mason. Now watch Mason thread the needle here. Beautiful pass. Ricky Pierce realizing his shot block. Cut, bring it up on the other side. Saturday. Now Ewing with the ball against Mason as they bang in. And the loose ball. Great play by Mason as he jarred it loose. You can see that was a very tough shot because he was shooting it up over the top of the defense. And Buck Williams gets free inside to lay it in. So once again... Under six minutes to go, and Larry Johnson fouled by Mason. So quickly, the Hornets picking up three fouls. Pierce, he's been in this situation so many times. Here is Patrick Ewing shooting over Mason. Not a good shot for Patrick. And here comes Johnson. Guarded by Rice. Mason doubling. Here's Ewing firing away and hits oh, oh, Patrick Ewing as he has done so many times. You don't want to let him get it to six. Oakley gets it over. And there is Larry Johnson hitting a three. And Larry Johnson, the former Hornet, has put the dagger through the heart of this team, leading 100 to 93. Johnson getting the last lap here.
Now you're going to see they caught him in a double team and they made the second pass. And Larry Johnson knocked that one down with a rotating guy running right in his face. The clock then foul, forced him to take the ball out of bounds on the side. Curry inside the arc hits. That's a two-point basket. And the Knicks dribble it out and have eliminated the Charlotte Hornets in three straight. The New York Knicks defeat the Hornets tonight by a score of 104 to 95. Well, Larry, you spent five years in the Hornets uniform. Dick Stockton mentioned all year you took a lot of heat. People saying Mason was the better trade for them. How important was this series for you to come out here and show that, yes, maybe they got the better of the deal? Well, you know, I'm, I, I've been fighting that the whole year, but I, honestly, and, uh, you know, uh, Craig, I'll talk to you honestly, it wasn't about Larry Johnson and another player. It was about the New York Knicks and the Charlotte Hornets. And we're not out to beat New York. I'm not out to, I mean, I'm, I'm, we're not out to beat Charlotte. I'm not out to show up Charlotte. I'm out to win the championship. And we got to think we have the, the, the chemistry and the quality of talent to do it. And that's what we out to try to do. We're not, it just, you know, it just came down to it. The first round we had to play Charlotte and we went out and did what we had to do. But, you know, it's, it's not like I'm, I'm overwhelmed and overjoyed for the extra feeling that, you know, I came back and beat my home team. You know, I thought they had a hell of a the year this year. You made some great shots in this arena, but what about the three you made right over here in front of their bench? I felt it, felt good. Uh, uh, my man uh, Charles Oakley gave me a hell of a pass, and I knew the shot clock was winding down, and I flicked it and let it go. You know, like I said, I played here five years, so I know the court pretty well. Obviously, Glenn Rice was sensational again, but in the fourth quarter, you held him to one out of his last five shots. I think that more so than I held him, I think his team held him. I don't think he got the ball as much as he was getting earlier, and I think they went away from going to him. And, you know, I was overwhelmed by that, but, you know, I don't think it was more so what we was doing. I think it was more so what they was doing. You've taken some heat, but you still have a lot of good friends here, including Muggsy Bogues. How much were you hurting for him? I'm hurting, you know. Uh, I, it, it's, it's ironic. The last two or three years when I was here, even this year, Every playoff time, Muggs been hurt. And you hate to see that with a guy with big as hard and a great person like Muggs. What people really don't know about Muggs is not only is he a hell of a basketball player, he's a great person off the floor. All right, thanks a lot. Good luck in round two. Let's go back to Dick and Hubie.